Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to episode 2 of The Book of Boba Fett. First episode was a pretty solid introduction, you know, a lot of it was focused on flashbacks, and I thought those flashbacks were pretty great. And then we had maybe like 10 minutes of scenes in the present day, maybe a little bit more than that. And it just kind of introduced us into this world and what's going to be going on on Tatooine with Boba Fett. And it seems like there's people after him for whatever reason. I guess we'll find out the exact reason. I kind of have a feeling it has to do with that mayor that was being referred to before. I have a feeling people are going to be, you know, having a problem with his authority. And I, uh, I'm interested to see how that plays out. I'm assuming we're going to get more flashbacks in this one. I don't think they're going to just stop with the flashbacks, but not exactly sure what they're going to do with that. So let's just get it right into it. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below. Don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch this episode. It's a much longer episode, at least. That's good. We sent you. So here's the guy they captured. Speak, prisoner. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna talk. Well, if he's not gonna speak, he no longer needs his head. <laughs> you don't care. Spared your life, and you curse me. That was a curse. <laughs> he is of the order of the night wind. Assassin for hire. They fear no man. Okay. Perhaps he fears the rancor. <laughs> oh man. They have a new one in here? Cause the other one got like killed, right? Oh shit. <laughs> Oh wait, no, they don't have it. Yeah, so it did die. They didn't get a new one. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, wait, did they get a new one or something? Did they like... But that was a good way to get him to speak. He fears no man, but he fears that damn monster. I still can't believe Boba Fett's back. <laughs> They've been having rumors of doing some sort of Boba Fett movie for years, man. I'm here to see the mayor. Do you have an appointment? <laughs> I found one of his stray pets. Here to return it to its master. I regret to inform you the mayor is indisposed for the rest of the week. In the <laughs> if you would be so kind as to apologies for the intrusion. That's the mayor. Ew. It is the new daimyo Boba Fett, Your Excellency. If you do not know who I am, then why did you send this man to assassinate me? The mayor had nothing. He's a member of the Order of the Night Wind. Oh! Okay. The Order of the Night Wind are not allowed to operate outside of hut space. Thank you for turning him in. Okay. So it, he didn't send him then. He could be tricking him. I don't know. Probably not. Yo, give some bodyguards back there some guns because they're, <laughs> they're kind of useless with those swords from a distance. Watch my back. Oh, this this person's got a litter. Oh fuck, the huts. Are these like distant relatives to Jabba the Hut or something? Who the hell is this? Oh, is that a Wookie? It's a badass looking Wookie though. Go back to Nalhata. Is he rubbing himself with the, with a little bird creature or a rat? Your cousin Jabba is dead. So they, this is cousins to them, okay. All that is his belongs to me now. If you want it, you'll have to kill me for it. Bro, they must be heavy as shit. I don't know how these people are lifting them up. Like they have like 10 people lifting them up, but I, I feel like you need like 40. They got away like... Thousands of pounds, I'm assuming. I don't know, maybe not. We're gonna get more flashbacks here. Oh, fuck. The hell is that thing? <laughs> oh, they got dinner. What is that? A tapeworm? <laughs> Looks like a giant worm. Oh no, it's an engine, it's a vehicle. Oh, it looks like a ch Oh shit. It's a big ass train. It looked like a worm. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? I will stop them. I will take 
rifle and stick. Be back by morning. I believe him. I think he can do it. Are they on a date? <laughs> it's not right. I'm saying something. Oh, you're about to get killed. He said it's not right. You probably should have just not spoke. <laughs> There you go. Kick all of their asses, come on. Nice, nice. <laughs> Take one of their speeders. That would be so much fun. Gift for you. And they just take them apart. <laughs> I will teach you how to ride. Go stop. Didn't know it was that simple. Like a bantha. <laughs> <laughs> this man's gotta fly right off. <laughs> <laughs> I love these Tuscan Raiders. They're always fun to watch. I love how the only way to tell them apart is by their clothes, you know? Because they all have the same face. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. It's common. Oh, fuck. They got hella people. Oh, shit. They're going on top. Holy shit. Oh, Oh, that was great. <laughs> There's always really great, like, train sequences in Star Wars, you know what I mean? Or, like, moving vehicle sequences, you know what I mean? Like, on top of some kind of moving vehicle. Oh, fuck. Nice. <laughs> What, what are you doing? Powering up the engines? Oh my god. <laughs> that would've been a perfect time for the Wilhelm scream, you know what I mean? Oh shit! That's, yep, yeah, that's gonna kill ya. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Oh, he just booked it. <laughs> Bro, there's some Spider-Man 2 shit here. <laughs> At least they're in like the middle of nowhere, so like... <laughs> Hopefully, there's nothing they'll run into. Oh, shit. Well, that thing definitely ain't driving again, so... Are you carrying spice? What is this, Dune? Sansana spice from the slave mines of Kessel. Oh, I remember Kessel. Wasn't Poe Dameron a spice runner or something? These sands are no longer free for you to pass. A lizard? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
That is weird as shit. Okay. <laughs> the hell is going on? Oh, sure. <laughs> More shots on Camino. Ew, 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 ew. Well, that's why he had that, like, skirt-looking thing in The Mandalorian. It was a cool look, though. Gotta say. He's looking badass. Oh, are they crafting his weapon out of that? Yeah. Is that the episode? Yep. Alright. I kind of... I kind of get what they're going for now. Like, I was kind of confused at first as to what was the point of all these flashbacks, but... I think it's pretty obvious to me. It's just kind of like a character study for Boba Fett. It's kind of like the whole purpose, I think. Because when you really think about it, out of the first two episodes, there's maybe been like 80% flashbacks and like 20% present day stuff. I would say so. If you combine both of the first two episodes. Which I don't think everyone's going to be crazy about. I feel like people are probably not going to be happy with that. I'm okay with it as long as the flashback stuff is important and good. And I'm not sure the importance of it yet until we get the full series. So it's hard to like judge it right now i usually don't like to judge shows until the first season's done at least you know judge the whole season when it's done but like episode by episode i just kind of it's hard to judge some things when you don't know how it's going to wrap up so you're not too sure how to judge it properly and if this stuff plays into great importance into the present stuff then it's fine i kind of hope the flashbacks do kind of fade out though i don't want to see too many of them for the whole show i do want to see what's going on in the present day stuff that main timeline um but it was still entertaining stuff regardless. I liked the whole train sequence. That stuff was really great, really well executed. It's just, I, I don't know exactly what the importance of a lot of those flashbacks will be going forward for the, the main story is what I'm trying to get at here. I think there's going to be probably six episodes. All these shows seem to have about about six episodes or, show, or so. Well, at least for the Marvel ones. But when it comes to, I guess Mandalorian had eight episodes each season. So maybe there'll be a few more. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll we'll find out eventually, I guess. <laughs> I'm still very excited. Definitely not the show I was most excited for, though. Obviously, Obi Wan and Ahsoka are like the two ones I'm mainly looking forward to. But this was definitely one that I was still, you know, ready to watch and I'm um, entertained by it at the very least so far. I don't think it's anything spectacular, but it's at least entertaining. But as it wraps up, I'll be able to fully judge it in a better way because you you'll have everything at that point, so it'll make more sense to fully judge it. You know what I mean? So. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below. You can also get early access to these videos there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.